Yeah, this morning we do have some cooler air, but that's allowing some dense fog to persist across parts of the metro. Eighth of mile visibility at Bellevue. We've had visibility dropping below a mile here or there across all of Omaha early on today. Same toward Fremont up towards Kama as well. So isolated fog is possible through about eight o'clock. 49 now in Norfolk, first place in eastern Nebraska to drop into the 40s. It's been in the 40s in Harlan, Atlantic, and Carroll, otherwise low to mid 50. So it might feel a little fall like, but remember these temperatures about average for this time of year. Any fog is out of here by about 830. Lots of sun, low to mid 70s at noon. It's late today where the wind starts to pick up out of the southeast, maybe gusting over 20 miles an hour at times. But a lot of sun, lower humidity, and temperatures in the low 80s in Nebraska. Upper 70s, near 80 in Iowa. It's going to feel fantastic later on today. We keep the breeze this evening, so temperatures don't drop off as quickly, even though we'll have a clear sky. Upper 60s, near 70 at 10 o'clock, and then maybe a few clouds late tonight. But on Thursday, southeast breezes continue. Lots of sun as well. It's going to get hot on Thursday. But then as the front gets in here on Friday, temperatures drop once again, but you can see one round of rain Friday morning. It's going to be light, but it's Friday late in the afternoon into the evening where we could get maybe up to a half inch of rain with a few thunderstorms that develop. Severe weather chances on Friday are low, but there could be some lightning, some downpours for the start of football games on Friday. So keep an eye on that forecast. We're up to 90 tomorrow, 82 with the rain on Friday, right back into the upper 80s and low 90s this weekend. Hot and breezy Sunday and Monday, but then we start to see some more fall-like changes take shape, and that's going to start to come in by about Tuesday with some rain, some thunder, and a big drop in temperatures.